Hi everyone, today I'm back with another review of my recent purchase of Gucci King Snake Leather Loafers in Black. Um, I was at Nordstrom last week and they were sold out in my size. I'm usually between five and a half and six, but they were sold out in both the sizes and the sales associate, she suggested me to go half a size up. That is to order size 36 and because Gucci runs narrow in this style. So I ordered size six in the store and waited all this time to get them, uh, but I received the shipment yesterday and I'm not happy with the results. So I don't know what's going on with Nordstrom lately. They sent me the shoe. Here is the box so you can see the low fence. This is the dust bag for the shoes. Now I am unwrapping them so you can see in a bit what I actually mean. So these are Gucci Yoko leather snake loafers in black. You can see the king um, snake appy that's going around the shoe. And then it has the Gucci standard, you know, double G um, uh, buckle on blue and red web. Um, and the height of the heel is 1.3 inches with gold studs and uh, the shoe has one more functionality which I really liked and that the back of the heel you can wear it uh, it can be worn heel down or heel up so that is the feature which really attracted me and I felt that okay it would be great but when I opened the box the shoe came exactly like this there was no stuffing inside which could help maintaining the form of the shoe and when I pulled the shoe out of the box I was really really upset I'll give you a closer look let me zoom in so you can see here we have already wrinkles and lines built in um, since the shoe was on display since August so it means that different people have tried them on and um, it's very upsetting for me because I am paying for so much money for a shoe which is brand new and I expect you know uh, good condition I'm not buying anything pre-loved um, because if I'm buying pre-loved and it has wrinkles or you know signs of wear and tear then I can you know satisfy myself by saying okay you know you uh, got what you paid for but here I paid the whole um, full amount and these are the results so here if I zoom in you can see that little threads are popping up on this side and the same thing goes on the other side I have not worn them even once and it's already you know showing signs of wear and tear so and then the back of the shoe the sole maybe this was the sticker for price tag it has been removed and then there are little you know marks um, indentations of which I'm not sure camera is picking up on them one is right here but overall I'm not happy with the quality so I decided that I'm going to take them back today to Nordstrom I'm returning them back and I might buy them on from Neiman Marcus because I was looking on internet and they do have my size but again it depends upon the you know look and the quality of the shoe if they are in excellent condition I might buy from them otherwise I'm thinking of buying Stuart Weitzman over the knee you know lace up uh, the new ones um, designed from Bloomingdale's. So let's see what happens. Thank you so much for watching my review and uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like it and do subscribe. I, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much and take care.